You'll have to bend in, bend down considerably to get in the door. For I imagine the door is only three and a half to four feet high. And only one person can go through at a time. Once you get inside the door, you walk down a dark hallway, and then you come to, in a little cave-like situation, you come to a fork in the, high, in the uh, hallway. And on the left, there it is. It's a little cave. There's a star right in the middle. And uh, it's pitiful, and you'll be disappointed when you see it, because false religions have made a shrine of the place. <clears throat> it's not what you'd think it is, and to look at it is disappointing, but to be there is not disappointing. So there you are, looking at the place where the manger was. The place where a manger cradled the Christ child. 2,000 years ago. And as I look at that little manger, I point to the little baby in the manger, and I say to you tonight, the manger has the answer. I don't know what your needs are, but the manger has the answer. I don't know what your problems are, but the manger has the answer. That little Christ child, God incarnate, holds in his restful bosom the hopes of this world and of its people. There's the answer. There's the answer religiously. The answer is in that little virgin born, body, lying in that manger. No, the answer is not in a world council of churches for all the believers and unbelievers, those who believe the virgin birth and those who don't, those who believe the blood atonement and those who don't, and those who believe in the deity of Christ and those who don't join together in some kind of a confused Babylonian hodgepodge. The answer is not in that. The very truth is, ladies and gentlemen, the world council of churches won't work. It won't work. The National Council of Churches, it won't work. Every denomination, major denomination, that is yoked up in the National Council of Churches, tonight is dying. You know why it's dying? Because the answer is not in some Tower of Babel built by denominational leaders. The answer. Virgin born, sinless, Son of God, become flesh. Liberal theology won't work. Social gospel won't work. Formalism won't work. The sacraments won't work. Your self improvement campaigns won't work. The answer, or your never dying soul. Right there, in that little manger. The answer is in the manger, and the manger has the answer. Your ritual won't work. Tonight, tonight, the liberal crowd is home watching television because they can't get a crowd to come to church. And if they could, the pastor has no message to preach. And if he had one, he wouldn't want to preach it. For there's no joy in preaching a dead religion. None at all. And Jesus said, I am the life. And you take that little baby in that manger away from the gospel preaching, and you have no gospel at all. You have no message of hope. You have nothing that gives life. Listen, the churches tonight, all across this nation, that have crowds and buildings packed and crowds coming 
of those churches supporting the world. That little baby in the manger. Well, you see those little hands reaching for its earthly mother. Those little hands that Mary loves to rub on her cheeks will soon be pierced by nails. And blood shall run from that flesh.